The Jacksonville City Council votes in favor to move forward with plans for the district downtown. The project includes a large scale mix of homes, businesses and parks proposed for vacant JEA property on the south side of the St. Johns River. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is live outside of City Hall to show us what today's vote means for the people of Jacksonville. The developer Elements of Jacksonville is now able to buy the 30 acres of land from JEA for $18.4 million and turn it into a major development. However, there was some controversy at tonight's meeting on whether it will impact taxpayer dollars. So all in favor of calling in question, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? A 9 to 5 vote at Tuesday night city council meeting means plans for the district downtown are approved. But within the next one to two years, you should see buildings being uh, completed, coming out of the ground and uh, hopefully coming down, having a drink or dinner right on the river. Downtown Investment Authority CEO Andre Wallace says the approval means a community development district will be created, allowing the developer to borrow money from the private market and put in actual infrastructure. It also approved um, funding to create a public space and infrastructure project, which is basically a park system on the South Bank for uh, in and around this particular development. City Council President Anna Lopez Brochet voted against the project, saying it would be poor use of taxpayer dollars. But Wallace says taxpayers won't be impacted. The public is protected on this project. The public funds goes into property that they own once the developer closes on the land and conveys to the city free four acres of property. That's where the public's money is going into. All right, so this won't affect taxpayer dollars? This is not going to impact the public at all. With the project moving forward, the developer says the district will put Jacksonville on the map. We also learned tonight that Mayor Lenny Curry is in favor of the district. The developer hopes to start this project by the end of the year. Reporting live from downtown, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.